Hey guys, um, this is Wrong Places by her. So just gonna go straight into the song. Um, as you can see, um, I have my my E major seven chord. So uh, what I'm playing here, so I'm barring what well, not a bar. So I'm just placing my first finger on the A string of the seventh fret, and then my middle finger is gonna go down on the on the G um, eighth fret, and then ring finger on the D ninth fret. And then picking on the B and fret, and then you just pick. Okay, I will show you the picking that I'm using um, after I show you the chord. And then the next chord is um, I haven't really done my homework. <laughs> um, I'll find out the name for this chord, but basically it's so similar to the first chord in the sense that these two notes stay here. So your your ring finger and your pinky stay where they are. And then just have your your middle finger up on the A on the eighth fret, and then your first finger go down on the G on the seventh fret. Okay, remember the first chord was just this, and then this one just move it up and then move that one down. Okay, and then the next one is gonna be F sharp minor seven. So F sharp minor seven, I'm borrowing the um, ninth fret from the A, and then my um, middle finger is on the B, um, tenth fret, and then on the eleventh fret, I have my ring finger on the um, on the D. Okay, you pick again from the A, and then the last chord is gonna be the B seven. Okay, B seven. Um, Again, I'm just barring the um, the seventh fret from the top, um, and then I have my middle finger down on the G, and then um, I have my ring finger down on the A of the um, ninth fret. So one more time, E major seven. Um, then you move them to the shape, up, down. Sorry, there. The next one is gonna be F sharp minor seven, then it B seven. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm doing in terms of my picking on my right hand. And so, in terms of the picking, um, is it's very is very simple alternate picking. So I have. Okay, so I have my bass then I have my um, my first finger so right here bass is on the A first finger on the D and then you have G then you have B we're not using the E <coughs> the E is mute so one more time so that is bass D B G Bass, D, B, G. Okay, if you do that four times, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then move on to this one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you come here you can see I've moved my finger up so um, so my bass is going up on the E and then my first finger is on the A uh, middle finger on the D and then G okay same concept okay one more time Okay, that's basically um, the old song. Um, I just thought about this on the spot, um, like just in case 
you know you find it difficult to play the bar chords it could reduce the amount of bar chords you play um if you still want to stay in the same key so what i've just thought of is that maybe you can place your bar chord on the seventh fret and you still, you still have that shape what the bar, what this um um the capo is doing for you is just minimizing how many bar chords you're going to play so instead of playing the a major bar chord that we're playing like this before Okay, you're only just doing the shape. Um, I don't know what I can call. I don't know what I can call the shape, but if you can see the shape, it's so similar to the one we were playing before. Imagine you having this bar, this bar here, but your capo is doing that for you. So you can just play the shape. So that's um, that's the, um, sorry, the G, um, the D, and the B. Same picking. And then for the next one, you just take off your first finger, just place it up. Okay, and then the back chord you have here is just the um the um F sharp minor seven. Okay, that could just also help you to learn how to play back chord as well. Just using just one back chord, it's not bad. And then the last one is gonna be the um the B seven. So B seven again. Right here, I just have my um, I'm using my, my my second finger. So on the G, on the um, first fret, and then you have your ring finger up on the A, on the second fret. Okay, it's very simple. So you, you know, you just play around it. One back chord to enjoy, and then this one super easy to follow um so i'm gonna end there guys i hope you found this tutorial helpful um if you have don't forget to like my videos also don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave your comments if you have any questions and i hope you guys enjoy um learning this new song and i'll see you guys in the next video bye